Hey guys, how are you doing? So, I have been trying different styles for the photos. Uh, right here I've been playing with shaders, so I wanted to extract, because actually the goal here is that I want to have a cartoony, maybe liquefied look to my pictures, because as I've told you in the previous video, I want players to be able to take pictures. I'm just trying some different shaders in here, some different techniques in the shader graph, in shader graph. So here is with saturation, you can saturate the image. I don't know, it gives a pretty decent look, but kind of weird, in my opinion. You can dither it, but uh, it seems a little bit too weird. It's not the look that I'm looking for. Uh, what else did I try here? I tried to separate the different channels, so red, green, blue, and play with the fuzziness, the range, and so on. So you can have some pretty decent results in here, but again, not the look that I'm looking for. Um, I was thinking about proposing different filters actually to the player, but yeah, I don't know, we'll see. Uh, in here, I've tried sampling the texture from a gradient, so I pass in the color in here and sample it from the gradient. Here, what's cool is that you can actually set up your values and the colors and so on. So for instance, if I change this color, it will color everything in red here. Uh, everything that was gray actually. Uh, same thing for this color and for the black. If I don't want full black colors, I will do something like that. So you, I can add more colors, of course, which will give um, a really nice effect, actually. You can determine that this is green in here and so on. So I can turn this green just to keep the same colors. This should be blue-ish. Okay. I can add another one. For the for the, the the fences, okay. So something around this maybe, but yeah. Again, it's a little bit weird and not the desired effect. So same thing. I try to round the colors and multiply them, divide them between them. This does give a posterize effect, and I later on <laughs> found out that there they there is a posterize effect, a <laughs> node. So hey, it's actually easier to use. I've then tried and used a palette for the colors. So this is my palette. You can't see it really well, but I think that, well, yeah, here we can see the, the number two, the second palette actually. But here is the first palette that I've used. Um, yeah, I just wanted to see uh, using a palette how it would look like, but it seems like it does give the same results as the sampling uh, from the gradient method, which I've used right here. But anyway, I will, look for, I will look further into this, but for now, I decided to take a break from shaders and try something else. So here is what I've done so far. I've added a simple menu to the game, so a button to take a picture, and that's what I call the menu, and some sounds, so I, I leave you with the sounds, actually. So as you can see, these are uh, handmade sound, not handmade, but voice made sounds. And I like that style actually, so I'm gonna keep it. Uh, what I've also done is, um, is faded out, is added a fade out effect whenever you complete the puzzle. And yeah, I'm gonna go on that route because it seems like the game is starting to take shape. And by the way, this is the last day for you to enroll in Mobile Mastery for 35 bucks instead of 50. So go to tapsheel.com and grab the pack. Have an amazing day. Cheers.